Hello YouTubers now welcome to another video from Techy SMS now this time i have made the world's smallest iot project yeah this is the world's smallest iot project whose dimensions are 4 cm by 2 cm with inbuilt rechargeable battery with inbuilt recharging circuit so once it is made no need to worry about changing the batteries another thing uh, the beauty of this project is that uh, its code. Its code is written in such a way that once it is code, you no need to change the code forever. If you want to change the access point name and password, we have developed an app for that. Now if you want to change its application, you can change it through the website. So once it is code, no need to change the code and once it is shouldered or the hardware is shouldered, you no need to worry about any hardware or any batteries. So isn't this nice? So let's see what's this project and how to make it. Okay, so this is the world's smallest IoT project. Now look at the size. It's a little tiny device. It looks like a product. And we have seen such similar product, but slightly bigger than this. And the product is Amazon Dash button. Yeah, it is smaller than the Dash button. So as you can see, there's a ESP2665 module. There's a push button. There's a battery, lithium polymer battery. This is the battery charging module. So huh, what is this project? So this is basically an IoT button. You have seen many videos of making an IoT button, but this is something different. Uh, now you can change the application of, uh, by changing the recipes in IFTTT or rather than applets in IFTTT.com. And uh, for access point name and password, yeah, we I have personally, not I, but yeah, my friends have made that app and I will soon publish it. So you can change the access point name and password with the help of that app. So this is, can this can be regarded as a standalone device. We don't require anything rather than this module. So let's test this out. Uh, what do you can say? I, turned on the recipe of playing music on my phone so this is the phone and this is the button so i'll just press the button it just takes some time so around 10 seconds yeah she has started the music nice so this is one out of many such application of this little or the smallest IoT button. So let's see how to make this. Okay, so for this project, I have used the ESP26601 Wi-Fi module, the smallest and cheapest Wi-Fi module available in the market. I have used this 3.3 volt battery charging module, uh, whose number is TP4056. I also shouldered a 200 mAh flipper battery on it. Further, I have used this pref board for shouldering all the components and a push button. First, let's take a look over the code and program this module. For programming, I have used the USB to TTL converter module and made the connections something like this. Okay, so this is the code for the smallest IoT project. So let's uh, have an overview on, on this code. So these are some necessary declaration and uh, yeah, this is necessary for this code. So what is happening in this code? So first of all, as the ESP266 don't know where it need to be connected to talk to internet. So you need to enter the said name and password with the help of the app, which our team has developed. So how to enter the said name and password with the help of the app? Uh, watch out this video further. You will come to know how to do this. So so what ESP do what ESP is doing before we enter the name and password it will create a local server so it will act as a station whose asset name will be this and whose password will be this so you need to connect your phone to this uh, access point uh, as to do the steps further so don't worry you will uh, find uh, how to do this in this video only in a few minutes so first of all, this will act as a server, a local server will be created. So you need to connect your phone to this ESP266 and then you need to enter the SSID name and password. So after that, so when it will be connected to your host or your access point name, it will be uh, requesting one link and the link is returned here. Yeah. 
So it is uh, maker.iftt.com is the server. So you need to create the recipe in the maker channel. Or if if you don't know how to create the recipes in this uh, iftt.com, you can watch out my uh, previous videos in which I have explained this. So here I've created a topic called ESP266 Wi-Fi. And this is a key for my account. So whenever this link is requested, the uh, IFTTT server knows that, yeah, the link is requested and I need to perform some actions. So we can vary the actions from uh, online. We need, we need not to change the code to vary the actions. The code will remain the same. The action we can change through uh, the website from IFTTT.com. So yeah, uh, you can watch the previous video on how to, uh, how to make this link and how to make different, different actions. So there's nothing uh, big in this. So, okay, so this is how the code ends. And in the last, as you can see that ESP dot deep sleep is equal to zero. Now this is important. Uh, deep sleep uh, in the bracket is written zero. This means that this module will be into sleep or into deep sleep forever until, un until and unless the reset button is pressed. So, uh, so this is the power saving line of our code. Yeah, exactly. This is a line which saves the power, a lot of power. So, so this is the code. The first of all, it will act as a station uh, and it will ask for the SSID name and password. After that, after receiving this details, it will connect to your host and will request the link and it, go, it will go to sleep. So you don't need to enter every time your uh, host name and password. Once you've entered, ESP remembers the uh, last uh, details you have entered in the code so once you have entered the host name and password you no need to change until unless your host name and passwords are changed okay so this is the code for the smallest IT project okay so as i uploaded the code uh, the esp 826s may must be uh, must have started its uh, own server okay as you can see that here it is written as esp ap so the server is started so i will first uh, I need to connect to this and it's a password is uh, it is there is no spoon I don't know what this means but this is the password by default in the code of the ESP8266 so, it will, so okay so it, is, it shows it's connected now you need to open the app which our team has developed and uh, I have attached the link of that app in the description Okay, that app name is ESP Connect. So we open this ESP Connect, and we need to give the SSID name and password to which uh, ESP8266 uh, should may be connected. So first we will write the name. So I will just connect to the SSID and password of this phone. As you can see, there right now only one device is connected, and uh, so its name is Panasonic Eluga Arc2, and uh, be aware of this space. The unnecessary space will uh, create a problem. So I remove the space and the password. If you you raise the default password of Panasonic is Panasonic. So this is again it is unnecessary space. So I'll delete the space. And you just need to enter the submit button. Okay. Okay. As you can see that in the phone, uh, the two devices are connected. And the second device is our ESP8266. Uh, Sometimes it shows that page is not available, but it uh, must uh, uh, show that uh, reset your board. But I don't know why it is not showing. But anyways, our, our work is done. Our ESP is connected and it already uh, requested the link and it got disconnected or just gone to deep sleep mode. So as you can see that the device uh, connected device are uh, again back to the one. So only one device is connected now as ESP is disconnected. So this is how you can uh, change the what we can see your host name and password through the app. Then I took a push button and an ESP module and just placed in this manner. Here I found a little space between the PCB and ESP module. So I inserted the battery in between them as to save the space. Then I decided to attach a battery charging module on the back side of this PCB as to make a sandwich like structure. After that, I shouldered all the components on this prep board and the connections are something like this. As the button is connected to the reset pin of this module, hence whenever the button is pressed, the board will get reset and it will come out from the deep sleep mode. Now I will cut out the remaining part of the PCB. After that, you will get a tiny device like this. 
look at the size man it can be easily attached anywhere in your keychain on your in your pocket on your desk in your car anywhere when calculated its battery life i found that this 200 milliampere hour battery will last for 2 years with condition that the module is in deep sleep mode and button is never pressed and also neglecting the other power losses means the totally ideal condition which will never happen taking on a practical side practically we are going to press the button and the led on the board will consume some current so in the end the battery lasted for only two days but, but yeah we can increase its life by removing this red power led which i have removed in my iot button so this will definitely increase the battery life by a couple of days or even a week so we are done hope you all guys enjoyed this project the smallest iot button now time for some giveaway now this is the first giveaway so i will be giving away the uh, extra stuff which i bought during the making of uh, this project <clears throat> so i will be giving uh, my random viewer a set of this battery charging module the tp4056 3.3 volt battery charging module along with a 250 milliampere hour lithium polymer battery now this is such a thing which is very difficult to find even on the internet or your uh, nearest electronic store uh, this tiny device are very very difficult to find actually i personally face the problem for finding this or finding the store who keep these type of batteries so okay so one of my viewer will get a set of battery and a battery charging module and uh, if anyone is interested i know uh, i don't know if uh, anyone will be interested to get these two batteries these two are the 150 milliampere hour lithium polymer battery if you want a set of these two batteries then also you can uh, get it now how to claim this two now how to claim uh, now how to claim this two oh this is my uh, nephew hi okay so how to claim this uh, two gifts it's very easy you just need to contact with connect with me you just need to connect with me you can uh, connect with me by just commenting below on the youtube video or you can even connect with me on facebook on twitter through email uh, any of your medium as per your choice so i will be waiting for uh, 10 days after publishing this video and on the 11th day i will announce the winner and uh, further i will uh, connect with the that random uh, viewer uh, who will get this uh, gifts and will interact further okay so this is it subscribe my channel to get notified for such upcoming amazing project videos till then explore learn share with me like sms